Hello, hello, my name is Kate. I'm a wedding and portrait photographer in Vancouver, BC. And today I'm gonna to tell you all about my backup process, how I always ensure that I'm never going to lose an image. And I have it all the way through until, well, really a couple of years after my actual shoot, because as a photographer, your delivery of those images and that art that you create, you can't recreate that. You can't get the same emotion back. You don't get those moments back, especially if it's a wedding day. So having a backup process that works, that's fail proof, is 100% you have to have that figured out. It does take a little bit of time, but I promise you it is worth it. If it gets you out of a jam, every minute is worth investing in that backup process. Way before you even get to any photo shoot, I think it starts from the gear that you choose. Anytime I invest in new gear, it has to have a dual card slot for multiple reasons. The first being, if you have a card error, it could be your card's not inserted properly or there's some sort of format issue, whatever it might be. If you have your camera set up properly, you will always have a backup. There are multiple ways to have your camera set up to record your images. The one thing that I always like to do is as soon as I purchase my gear, I will always set it up so the first card slot mirrors what's on the second card slot. So it's recording in two places the second you take those photographs. So that right there will instantly give you a backup option. Not only is that important for you, but also if you are a second shooter, to be able to take one card out of your camera and give it to your primary photographer, you already have a backup of those images. You don't have to worry as much about getting those images back. Yes, of course you want your, your card back. You already have a backup of it and you can easily give them a copy of it. And you also know everything that you're capturing for a wedding or whatever your photo shoot is, it's foolproof. You have two copies instantly. Once you finish your photo shoot, you have a copy on your first SD card and a copy on your second SD card. One thing I love to do, whether it's a, a marathon day or a wedding day, I always switch out my cards throughout, especially a full wedding day. I always have multiple cards in that first card slot because you never know. If you have a format issue, sometimes you can recover that with certain software and that is, it's a lifesaver, it really is. However, the system that works really well for me is having multiple cards in my first card slot and one card in my second card slot. So the second card slot, I always have a 128 gig and that records everything from a full day, whether it's a wedding or branding marathon, whatever it means. That is one card that records everything from the day. In the first card slot, I always use 64 gig cards. Those I rotate throughout the day. I will, whether it's a wedding day, I will change it for ceremony, for bridal portraits, for reception, for ceremony. I will have four cards go through that card slot on both cameras every day. So I need to have a lot of cards, but then I have options if one card fails or whatever it might be, but I have that second backup on that second card and that has my full wedding day. So that could be my sort of my master copy right off the bat. Then as soon as I'm finished my photo shoot, I will take that card directly out of my camera and I place it into this SD case. This is super slim. I really like the size of it. It fits in my pocket, fits in my purse. And I like to use a fanny pack when I'm shooting often because it keeps my phone and all kind of extra things that I might need. So this just slips in my pocket. Not only does it make sure that I have it on hand in case something happens to my bag, whatever it might be, that could be an absolute nightmare, but I have it in my pocket. And also when I get home, I don't know about you, but I like just to dump my gear in my office and then I already have it. I don't have to start sorting through my camera gear to get my cards to be able to go and back everything up. So I have it on hand and this is, these are my master copies. So this is my, typically my SD card that's in my second slot. And as soon as I sit down at my desk, I have a template folder that I have in on my desktop. So I've got my desktop, I've got it organized by photo shoots, by branding, by self process for self, my goodness, I can't speak today, self portrait. So I have everything organized by category on my desktop. Within those folders, I then have a template folder and it just, it keeps things so organized. And when you are shooting thousands and thousands and thousands of pictures in a year, organization is your best friend. If it's not organized, you're, <laughs> you'll lose it keeps things calm, it keeps things simple, it works. So I have a template folder, I copy and paste that into the same folder and I will label that for, I label it by the date and then I also label it by the name, whoever it might be. And then within that folder, I have multiple folders. So I've got all of my RAWs, they will all get put into that folder. I've got all of my GoPro footage, my regular footage, that will be what I capture from my phone. And then once I export those, I'll have sneak peeks, I'll have low resolution images, high resolution images. Sneak peeks, clearly those are the sneak peeks I send off to my client. Those are kind of my, my control samples. So then I know what I'm outputting to the client. I then have low resolution images and that 
I use primarily for myself, for my own business, whether it's marketing, YouTube, social media, whatever it might be, those are my low resolution because I don't need high res for that. And it will actually lower the quality if you use those on social media. Then I have my high resolution images. This is what I deliver via Pixie Set to my clients because they have then complete control. They can use them for prints, whatever it might be. As soon as every single image is good, bad, terrible, crap, <laughs> phenomenal, whatever it might be. As soon as those images are loaded into my folder on my desktop, I do two things. One, it automatically backs up to my online system, which is Backblaze. Phenomenal, it just constantly keeps my computer backed up so I know that it's in the cloud. Also then I have multiple hard drives. My first hard drive that it goes onto is my RAWs. This is literally every single photo that I've captured on my camera for each year. So every year I have a, a new hard drive and I've got everything on there. All my video content before it's been spliced and gone through and stuff like that. This is kind of my master. So if there's an image missing, whatever it might be, I can go back to this and I know that I might not have accidentally culled through it because this is everything, good and bad. From there, I then cull everything in Photo Mechanic. That is just my jam. I've got it down pat. If you'd like to know a little bit more on how I go through and cull everything super fast, let me know. I will do another video on that because I used to be really afraid of culling and I used to be very careful, but now Photo Mechanic completely changed my ways and made it so much easier, so much more seamless. Then the only thing I'm importing into Lightroom is everything that I'm gonna output for my client and edit. I used to keep every image in the same catalog in Lightroom and it bogged down. It was 14,000 pictures. And I'm like, what is wrong with this? It feels very unorganized. I implemented a new process into my system a couple years ago, and that was to create a new catalog for every single gallery that I do. And it was a game changer because not only does everything stay super organized, I then have a backup of every single gallery within the same folder that I have all the RAWs, the GoPro footage, video footage, all the exports, everything is all for that one photo shoot, wedding, whatever it might be, is all in one location. So everything is there. If I have to go back to it in two years, I've got that backed up and I have all of my edits right there opposed to one big catalog for everything I shoot in a year because there's thousands of photographs and it just makes life so much easier. So I create a new catalog every time, input my images, go through my editing process and I'll export them. Clearly I'll go through that whole process. Deliver everything high resolution to my clients through Pixie Set, which is just my go-to. It works really well for me. And then I've got a full gallery. I've got everything completed. I reduce all my video footage so it's usable footage because video data takes up so much space on my computer, on my hard drive. So I always reduce that to usable stuff. And that also is saved in the same folder. And then when I've delivered that gallery, to my client, I know that I have a final full, this is my folder on my computer, by the way. I have a full folder that contains absolutely everything that I could possibly use from that photo shoot for my future marketing, for the clients, whatever it might be if I need to come back in the future. So I can take this folder and then I put it on my next hard drive. And this is sort of my master for the entire year. Everything finalized full. This is my holy grail. If, if my house burns down, this is what I'm getting. Then by the time I'm done my full gallery, I've got everything backed up on Backblaze. I have everything on my computer, which I keep there for the entire year. I have every single raw video, iPhone video, whatever it might be, is all saved on my raws as a just in case. And then I have everything thrown in my, my completion hard drive. I don't actually have a name for it, but this is where everything goes when it's complete. And then until I've delivered the gallery to my clients, this little case, it was literally just from the dollar store. I keep all of my SD cards in here so that this is another backup, a backup upon backup upon backup. I am never screwing my clients. So this is where all of my SD cards go until they're delivered. Once they're delivered to my clients, then I can take those SD cards out and I can use them for future shoots. As you can see, there are a lot of steps that I take to back up every image, but I've had some very close calls in the past with a missing photo from a wedding that was delivered two months prior or a second shooter that lost her footage and I had to recover it on my, on my software. So there's a lot of situations that you don't want to be in. And if you take a backup process like this or whatever, you adapt it to whatever works for you, you will always be able to deliver your art to your client flawlessly every time. And it will be worth every second you invest. I can promise you that. Thank you so much for being here today. I love sharing what I can do, what I can help you, how I've evolved over the years to be where it is today. Check back later this week. There will be more coming at you. There's more coming, more coming always. So if you want anything that you would like me to talk about in the future, put a comment in the section below. I will read that and I will add that to my to-do list.